This video is brought to you by Surfshark. start the day. It is so beautiful here in Meteora. It's so crazy these monasteries on top of all of these cliffs and rocks. I can't imagine how long ago they built these and how they actually created them. Well hopefully we'll find more about that later today. Now I am freezing, ready to go back and warm up, meet up with Sammy for breakfast and then we're gonna start hiking around these trails and checking out these monasteries. Woo! What a great start! Looks pretty good. We just finished breakfast. We had the Greek yogurt. It's homemade here. It's the best I've ever had. I love Greek yogurt back home, but this is a hundred times better. We put a little honey on top, dipped our bread into it. Oh my God, great way to start the day. It was delicious. We're excited as well. They're actually making us a homemade dinner tonight. And he keeps telling us his mom makes it. It's the best homemade Slovakia ever. I'm super psyched. Just noticed we have a patio. These windows were shut tight, I guess to keep the sun out. And we got in super late at night. I love getting into a place late at night because when you wake up and you can see the view, it is incredible. Like how absolutely gorgeous is this? I love that you can see all that snow up there. Not bad, right? It is incredible. <laughs> wow. It's so pretty here. Oh, this is exciting. Wow. What do you think, baby? I, the feeling I have right now, like the excitement is unreal like i never get this feeling when we're at the beach the mountains are my happy place i love it it's just the cold fresh air the beautiful scenery i'm over to the good side i know beach or mountain like how do you how do you top this Something that's really cool about Meteora is the monasteries, obviously on top of all of the cliffs, but they have like walking paths that you go down into the gorge and then up to the cliff. And we're at our first one, Monastery of the Holy Trinity. So we're gonna go check it out.
full, huh? Yeah. You kind of got to duck under these cliffs a little bit. It is a nice stairwell though, and we are almost on top to the monastery. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> oh, check out this view. That is where I was at this morning. So this is the path we just walked down over there. It switches back and forth down into the gorge, and then you come up the side of this cliff, and then we're right on top with the monastery. You'd think it'd be a lot harder, but the weather's nice and cool, and it's a great day for a, a good walk. I mean, okay, so it's three euros per person to get into all of the monasteries, and there's six monasteries, so that could add up, but this is our first one, and it's totally worth it. The views are amazing and it's so cool to be in here. I like your skirt. Thanks. So you do have to dress appropriately, but appropriately doesn't mean just long pants. The women do have to wear skirts. So they offer these for free at the doorway. Very nice of them. First monastery was a success. The viewpoint is so beautiful. I could sit up here all day and just take pictures and time lapses. Wow. Great start, right? Great start. Now oh, we have to find the next one to go to. Such a hard day in Gidiwara. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it, man. It's so beautiful. We are hiking back to the top again. Awesome first stop. It is a little bit of a walk up though, I'm tired. But the views are worth it to be on top with that cross overlooking the whole city. We're doing the good old fashioned peanut butter and jelly. We have some bananas, some chips, and we just bought a bottle of red wine. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful view and relax. Look at the spread you got going. Super classy. Tell us how much that wine was. Almost three euros total. So cheap. It's nice. I think we'll be drinking lots of wine. Salud, mi amor. Salud to my absolute favorite lunch peanut butter and jelly sandwich on wheat bread and chips. I don't normally have it with wine, but... The wine's actually good. Mmm, it is good. It's easy. Now it's time to thank the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark. Recently, Tommy and I have decided to start taking our online security more seriously, which is where Surfshark comes in. Surfshark is a VPN, and if you've never heard of a VPN before, it stands for Virtual Private Network, which helps keep you private and secure online by encrypting the data sent between your device and the internet. This is especially important for people like us who are constantly connecting to public Wi-Fi. A VPN can be used for more than just security, you can also use it to unlock content that isn't already available in your area. It is super easy to change the virtual location of your computer to access a completely new content library. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. It is the only VPN to allow unlimited devices on one account. So this, this, and this are all completely secure. So go use our code Sammy and Tommy to get 83% off plus three extra months for free. There is also a 30 day money back guarantee so there is no risk to try it out. We will leave a link in the description box below and let's get back to the video. So we just got back to the spot I was at here for sunrise. I had to bring Sammy back because the views are Amazing. So much warmer now, so much more relaxed. It's pretty sweet, right? So nice. 
I like that you can see four of the monasteries from here. I get really bad vertigo. She's that scared. She can't even stand. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is not a stand. You don't want a picture to look like you're about to take a shit. No, I don't. Okay, I'm up. Take the picture. Came and stand on a rock. My knees are getting weak. They're like shaking every time I got up. I was like, oh, I was like seeing spots. What if I passed out and fell off the cliff? Seeing spots? Such a DQ. Where was that at where you were all about skydiving? No, bungee jumping, South Africa. So it's really funny. Sammy's talking so much smack saying, oh, I could definitely bungee jump here. It's like one of the biggest in the world. She's like, no, I could do it. I could do it. She came and get on the edge of a cliff. She's and I have photo. pictures to prove it. <laughs> Her crawling once again. Oh, we're heading to the next speed point. For the come and go. Sound off. Let the light of the moon tattoo these words. You can't reach the heaven from a couch. So I'm so proud of Sammy. Look at where I am standing. She made it out on a rock. Standing up straight. Look where she's at. Come here. Let go. <laughs> Let go, man. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to go. I'm Meteora is one of the largest and most important complexes of Greek Orthodox monasteries in all of Greece. Meteora literally means suspended in air. I mean, it's pretty incredible. All of these monasteries look like they're suspended in air. During the Byzantine times, the monks had inspiration to build these monasteries on top of all of these rocks so that they could be closer to God. So it's very symbolic and has like a lot of meaning and it's very just beautiful to be looking out over these magnificent views. So originally there were 24 monasteries. There's only six remaining now. They're built up on these huge rock formations. So the rock formation is over 60 million years old and they're actually sculpted by rain, earthquakes, and wind. It's just so beautiful, Don't but so crazy. You know. Mr. Cow? So we just got back to our favorite spot we were at today. The sun's just about to go down. We are very excited just to relax, enjoy the sunset at this beautiful area. After this, we're gonna head back to our place. We have a traditional dinner we can't wait for. We're about to have some homemade slovaki made by our host mom. All the reviews raved about it. I'm pretty psyched. That looks nice. I know, it's so nice to warm up by the fire. Have a nice dinner. I think we're the only ones staying here tonight. So it looks like we have some homemade bread, a delicious Greek salad. Look how much feta's on there. I love Greek salad and I love feta cheese. I already had a little bite of this feta cheese because I couldn't wait. And I already know that it is absolutely amazing. Is that the best feta cheese you've ever had? Up there, huh? 100%. The best. Really? It is so good. It's not overly salty. You know how some fetas can be overly salty? It's perfectly creamy, perfectly salted, not a strong, strong aftertaste. It is delicious. How's it look, Sammy? Amazing. A delicious home-cooked meal from our host. Really excited to try all of this. I haven't had Slovaki yet, except for the vegetarian kind, so I'm ready to give the local food a try. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be messy. Are you ready for this? Sure. Mm hmm Pork. What was it? Mm hmm So good. The char, so crunchy. It's delicious. I love Slovakia. Mm hmm Perfectly moist. We haven't had sauces in such a long time. I am pretty excited. It looks delicious. Mm, it is smoky, charred to perfection, and super juicy. It's perfect. He it wasn't lying. Delicious meal.
It is our second morning here in Meteora. We just woke up, had a great breakfast. Now our host is taking us to town to buy us a Greek cafe. It's just a small coffee. We have to grab some groceries and stuff in town, and then we're gonna head back up and do some hiking and explore the mountains. Very strong. It's really good though. It's only like that flavor that you get in Greece and Turkey. So we just finished our coffees and now we have our host's best friend taking us to the pharmacy. They're so friendly. All right, back in our car, we're about to head up and go explore the monasteries. Keep in mind each monastery is closed on a different day of the week. Since we were unable to go inside the largest and oldest of the monasteries, we headed to our last major stop of the day. of the Monastery of Barlam. It was just a short hike up here. The views are gorgeous once again. And I think they have a museum downstairs we're about to go check out. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Again, three euros. Again, but the views are worth it. Yeah. to these monasteries was through rope ladders and pulleys so and like nets so they would hoist people and things up in nets like the one you see in the picture here that looks like a rough way to come up yeah and i think they might have had like little ladders that would have been so, i would have said pull me up in the net <laughs> that would have been so scary i'm glad they built steps for us Two guys pushing that thing to haul people and supplies up this height. So that monastery was very cool. It was nice to learn about the daily lives of the monks, kind of how they live 300 years ago compared to now. But the museum was very informative. It was nice to learn more about this area and how it started. All right, so we have really enjoyed our time here in Meteora and we are going to a sunset spot to enjoy one last magical sunset before we head out to our next destination tomorrow. I cannot recommend Meteora enough. We have just really, really enjoyed experiencing this place.